What is up everybody and welcome to the Financial Wolf channel. So today I decided to make yet another in-person video for you guys because first of all, you seem to really be enjoying them and also I have to go somewhere tomorrow and I'll be gone for the whole entire week. So I'm trying to pre-record a few videos to upload while I am gone. So I don't want to miss like a whole week of uploads. So I'm trying to do like a quick video for you guys right now. And I also made another animated video today that should be going up sometime in the next couple of days. Okay guys, so I apologize for the quick change in scenery, but I noticed that in the last couple of videos I uploaded that the lighting in my room is really terrible, so I decided to change to like a better location. So guys, to be honest with you, I had no idea what I was going to film about today, but I kinda have to make a video because I'm going to be gone for six days and I wanna get at least two videos up for you guys. I already filmed one awesome video. You guys have already seen it, it is the vending machine business that I plan on starting and yes I still plan on starting that probably in the next month or two once I get my business a little bit more built up and by my business I mean my eBay business. I want to have my eBay store doing at least 3000 a month in sales before I start anything else. So for right now I'm trying to focus on my eBay store really building that up until I open another thing. That doesn't mean after my business hits 3000 a month I'm going to stop building it but I just want to be completely focused on that business until it hits 3000 a month, then I'm gonna begin experimenting with other things. Okay guys, so I just got an awesome idea. I posted on my Instagram story for you guys to ask me any questions. I will be leaving that up for like the next two or three hours and you guys can ask me any questions you want and I will 100% be sure to answer them. So guys, if you aren't following me on Instagram yet, what are you doing? You gotta follow me or else like you're gonna be missing out on videos like this. The link to my Instagram will be in the description down below. So the first question of the day just came in from right and she asked, Will, do you know how to perform an LBO analysis? And I think that means a leveraged buyout. And I do know what that is. I believe that's when a private equity firm purchases another company using debt as its primary instrument. So that's pretty much when a company is acquired using debt. Thank you so much for that question, Riley. The only reason I actually knew the answer to that question is a couple days ago, I was finishing up a book. I forgot exactly the name of it, but I think it was like a guide to starting and running your own legal business. And it talked about leverage buyouts and a lot of things using debt to you know leverage and purchase and expand your business. Okay, so the next question just came in from Audra and she asked, how do you know if something is a good deal or bad deal when flipping phones? And this is actually pretty easy to find out. All you need to do is look at the phone you're buying on eBay and see what these phones are selling for on average. I'm gonna go through that right now with you. Okay, so for example, let's say someone comes to you with an iPhone X. So the questions you need to ask them is one, what carrier is the phone with? This is important because Sprint phones tend to sell for a little less money than all the other ones. So for example, I'm typing this in on my computer right now. I'm holding the camera on my computer, so it's kind of like weird. So let's say I'm gonna type in on the eBay search, I'm gonna show you in a second, Apple iPhone X, AT&T. And the next question you need to ask is how many gigabytes is the phone? And let's say they answer 256 gigabyte. And then you have to ask them, obviously, like the condition of the phone. They have to tell you if it's like used or if it has any cracks or, you know, anything like that. You need to know the condition. And let's say for in this case, the phone is in just like a normal used condition because that's probably the phones you're going to come across the most. When I type in Apple iPhone X AT&T 256 gigabyte into the eBay search, this is what pops up. So obviously these are listings that haven't sold and you can't really compare to that. So I, I said that, in, for example, I said, you know, use condition. So I filtered it there and you can actually use like the eBay filter to look at only sold listings. And this is how you compare if a phone is a good deal or a bad deal. So here's gonna pop up. This is a bad ESN phone. So this is not a good one to compare to. Uh, finance, that's also a bad ESN phone. Unlocked worldwide. So, okay, so this is a good comp, except it's not, it's unlocked and it's not AT&T. So I'm actually gonna get back to you when I find a good comp. Pretty much all you have to do is keep scrolling through and look for a good one to compare to. Okay guys, so this is kind of the average among the comps. So on average, a used 
iPhone X 256 gigabyte is going for like 785, maybe like the worst case, probably 749.9. So always go for worst case because you never know what can happen in this industry and you want to lower your chances of losing money. So right now I'm actually going on Google and I'm going to look up a calculator. So now I'm on the calculator and this is the math I'm going to do. So I'm going to do the worst case sale price of the phone, 749.9 times 0.86. That takes into account the eBay and PayPal fees, which are 14%. And then you want to take into account shipping. With the iPhone X, it's probably going to be, you might want to ship it priority. So probably around $6.00. And that puts your, you know, break even around 638.91. I would say offer your client try and start at 500 and that'll give you a $138 profit, but don't go lower than 5 don't go higher than 550. Thank you so much for the question, Audra. I hope this helped you and I wish you luck as you continue flipping phones and I promise you you will be successful if you keep working at it and keep searching for those amazing deals. It is an awesome industry and I really wish you luck. Okay, so those are actually all the questions I got today. I only got two, but I really tried to go in depth on those questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much if you made it to the end and if you guys want to learn more about investing or business in general I have some of my favorite books linked below I promise you guys these books will help you as you continue to build businesses and invest thank you guys so much if you made it to the end and please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe to be one of the first to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys again and peace